it's really hard to find a course about social media because the field is very new, it's relatively new in, in communication studies. And here I found experienced lecturers who know about a lot about journalism because they had worked for many years and they are researching out what social media really means for journalists. And also I like the fact that we are a very multicultural group. We come from several parts of the world, from Africa, from Latin America, from Europe, and we can exchange our differences, experiences about Facebook, Twitter, really means in our profession. different international justice issues and but I'd never been to The Hague so I was very interested in coming here and meeting the people who are working in the court and getting some good explanations about certain issues that are arising especially for the court uh, working in Africa. It's our job to, to inform people and if we are not informed ourselves then we cannot easily inform the, the readers that uh, we have so I feel like uh, even if you have an idea of what, what the court does, uh, this kind of training is important for it for you to keep at uh, top of your game and knowing how to, to communicate effectively on the workings of the court. Hello, I'm Sheila. I am an instructor and at the same time the head of the Development Communication Department. And the name of our university is Xavier University Ateneo de Cagayan. The training experience provided me with very relevant knowledge and skills on radio production, which I was able to share with my students when I get back from the training. The training that I received from the RNTC is definitely a career boost. It has given me the competence and the confidence to teach the broadcasting course. I am very, very grateful to have been given that opportunity to be trained at one of the world's best training institutions, that's RNTC. And this here is a very proud alumna. I'm a Brazilian journalist. I work for the Brazilian broadcast company. I write articles for the press agency on the internet and I do radio as well. <laughs> Training course is not something really um, normal at my company. We, have, we don't have any kind of training at my company. I like to listen to people who never has some voice and then I like to go there and listen to them properly and uh, report to their claims uh, to have a better life. We have lots of favelas in Rio and the conditions of life of these people is really bad. They don't have uh, water at home, electricity and uh, there are lots of garbage spread all over the community and then it's really difficult for the journalists go there but I think it's our role in the society to report their claims. Now I can uh, make the stories more interesting for my audience actually and uh, I can do more things so it could be good for the audience because uh, I'll be there more um, able to listen to them better and really report exactly what they have told me in a more interesting way. Do Rio de Janeiro, Isabela Vieira. First two weeks in Holland, I helped. Like it really helped me enhance my knowledge on reporting skills. And then moreover, I learned camera works. And then I got to I got the opportunity to edit as well. And then that that was something new I never did in here in my entire career in BBS. So it I think it helped me take it to another level of my career. I never got the opportunity to cover elections. So I think for the next election, this will be of great help. So the tailor-made course on election reporting for the BBS at the RNTC was a lot of fun for all of us. It was very informative. We learned a lot of things about election reporting. We learned about interview techniques. We went on uh, reporting. For me personally, the camjo training was a lot of help. 
I learned a lot about using the camera. I learned a lot about uh, the shots which you have to take, being more creative. And then also uh, presentation skills because I am also an anchor at uh, the BBS. And uh, the training from the anchor who was at uh, RNTC was very, very helpful for me. And I learned a lot from the RNTC. And I've made a lot of friends there also who I think will be my friends for life. My generation in Armenia is called a war and crisis generation. We have seen post-Soviet Union energetic crisis, we have seen blockade, war, uh, we have seen a terrible earthquake. And maybe that's why we want to transfer a better country to the next generation. And now Armenia is facing a major challenge to build a democracy. What me and my colleagues do here is to make the voice of ordinary people to be heard. And this talk show I am doing now is uh, the result of my final assignment at uh, RNTC. My experiment I once did at RNTC turned into a well-known electoral talk show in Armenia. I have just invested what I have learned into my everyday job. Uh, I have learned how to do a better teamwork, I have learned to feel the camera, I have learned the storytelling, I have learned to, to think in pictures. And all these peculiarities, all these professional hints, all together were invested later in my uh, everyday work and in my profession. Professional confidence is very important for a journalist because uh, when you know not only the basic rules of journalism, but you also know camera editing, uh, then you start to help your colleagues and you become a real member of the team. And RNTC gave me this feeling and this opportunity. And that's why I encourage uh, my colleagues and the others, uh, young students, to apply to RNTC courses because I want them to feel the atmosphere and to meet those wonderful people at RNTC.